Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Test Studio and today we're going to talk about the Magic Mask with the latest version of DaVinci Resolve 18.1. It's now available in the Fusion page and we can do a lot of interesting stuff with it and it can save us a lot of time when rotoscoping. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and here I have the clip that I'm going to use to demonstrate the Magic Mask. We're going to try a couple of things. First, we're going to rotoscope myself right here and we're going to add some text behind myself and also change the background. Usually this will take quite a while because I will need to rotoscope manually, but you'll see that with the Magic Mask is very, very quick. Right now I have a clip that is about 15 seconds. I'm gonna use the entire clip, but I will recommend that you use only the section that you need to create the mask for because it is pretty resource intensive. So just make the cut wherever you want the mask to be applied and then create a fusion clip. In our case, I'm just gonna duplicate my current clip by holding option and dragging that clip on the second track. Then I'm gonna right click on it and create a new fusion clip. Now we can move over to fusion. Once in Fusion, I'm gonna hit Shift Space on my keyboard and I'm gonna search for a magic mask. I'm gonna bring that in. Then here we're gonna go to frame zero and we're just gonna draw on the subject that we're gonna rotoscope. So here is gonna be myself. We're just gonna draw a line on myself. Here, as you can see, the arm haven't been picked up. So I'm just gonna draw on the arm to pick them up like so. And just keep doing that to select any area that might have been forgotten. As you can see, we also selected a bit too much excess over there. So we're going to go to subtract and then we're just going to unselect those area right there around the air. And that's it. We should be fine with that. Then I will always suggest to switch from faster to better. It is more taxing on your system and it will take more time to track, but it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Then switching to better allow the access for refine range. As you can see here, if I increase that refine range, we started to have some other stuff that are selected. So here there is the plant, there is the frame behind me, and we definitely don't want that. So generally you want to bring that refine range as low as possible. Just take the edges, see what works. If there is anything popping up here in your frame, you don't want it. So just reduce that as much as possible. With the few tests I've made generally, I think that between zero and 10 is a good range. But again, it will depend on your clip. Now I'm happy with our selection. So we're just gonna track it. We're gonna go over here and track it forward. And now we're just gonna wait a bit because it's gonna take a while to process that entire clip. Another clip has been entirely processed and in my opinion, the mask is very, very good uh, for the amount of time we spent on it. Uh, obviously, it will not work with every clip and the more movement you will have in your video, the harder it will get. Like any uh, tracking stuff, you know, it's always uh, a bit more complicated as soon as you have a lot of movement and that you switch perspective and so on. But for a clip with not too much movement, I think it's very, very good. I would hardly have done better if I were to rotoscope that manually. So now that we have our mask, we can just go back to the edit page. Here, I'm just going to drag that mask on track number three, and we're going to add some stuff in between those two. So here, I'm going to bring some text. I'm going to use fading up from all three starter pack and just drag that in. Now, I'm just going to go to the title, and then here, we're going to change the text. I'm going to write mask, change the font for basement grotesque, and increase the size. Then I'm just going to go to size and position and bring that up. And if we play it, as you can see, I've been able to create that effect in no time. While if I were to just do the rotoscoping manually, it would have taken ages. If you're a complete beginner, let me give you a quick breakdown of what's going on. If I disable here those two tracks, we have the original clip right here. Then I've just added some text above it. And then we have the mask that we've created with only myself right above it. So basically the text is taken in sandwich between the original clip, which serve as a background, and then myself that has been rotoscope that serve as a foreground. So now we could switch the background also. For example, here, if I bring a PNG file and now we have a spaceship background, I could just bring a beach background, for example, increase here the size. We could go over to open effects and here bring some Gaussian blur to make it a bit more realistic. Obviously, then you will need to adjust the color of the subject to match your background to blend everything in properly. But you get the idea. I think that's a very, very great feature and it can save you a lot of time. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. 
Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.